Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to create a JavaScript file in Visual Studio Code. At the very first step, you have to open your Visual Studio Code. This is an empty window. Uh, where we can get started is at, the is at the top left corner. Here is an option called File. We have to hit it and there's a drop down menu. There are lots of options, but the one that we need is the new file option. If I click on it, there's a text area here, uh, which, says, uh, which says enter the name and the type of the file. Well, the name of the file could be whatever I would like. Well, I can go with test, but uh, how can I specify the type of file that I want to create? Well, every file has a type that is specified by the postfix that comes after the name of it. And uh, as we are creating a JavaScript file, uh, we have to go with the postfix of a JavaScript file here. Uh, the postfix for JavaScript files is JS. So I have to uh, type .js right after the name of the file. And uh, if I hit enter, as you can see, there is another window of VS Code that pops up here. VS Code is actually asking us where should I save this test.js file. So we have to specify the path of test.js. You can save it wherever you would like. And I will go just save it on my desktop. Hit create file and then here it is. The test.js file is uh, created and uh, is opened on my VS Code window. And if I just take a look at on my desktop, uh, test.js is exactly right here where I specify the path. Another way to create a new file on VS Code is to use its cool shortcuts. A cool shortcut to create a new file on VS Code is Ctrl N. Click Ctrl N and then you can see a tab is opened right here. But in order to specify the name and the type, you have to also uh, click Ctrl S. As you can see, another VS Code uh, window pops up just like it did before. Uh, if I click on it, I have to specify the name and the path both. So I will just name it test2 and definitely .js since it is a J JavaScript file. And uh, in order to specify the path, I will go uh, again to save it on my desktop and hit save. And if you hit save, you can see test2.js is created right here. And you can see test2.js is created in the path that I just specified.